So it very much was a local case and involved local personalities. Roe v. Wade is a case known around the country, but it starts in our very own backyard. The lawsuit was tried in Dallas in a courtroom that still exists. 48 years after the landmark Supreme Court ruling, we know much more about Jane Roe. Norma McCorvey has a history. Dallas County resident Norma McCorvey was pregnant at the time and she wanted an abortion. She had had two children, both of whom were uh, not being raised by her at the time of this pregnancy. Eventually, Jane Rowe met her two Dallas attorneys, Sarah Weddington and Linda Coffey. Well-respected lawyers who were looking to challenge abortion laws. This is an interview with Coffey in 1970, courtesy of the Jones Film Collection at SMU. Well, I think we'll see more, uh, more open abortions performed. Shortly after three federal judges in Dallas ruled that the state's law banning abortion was unconstitutional, Coffey told our cameras women would now have more options. She can have an abortion, and assuming that she has it in Texas, uh, she need no longer suffer any kind of uh, guilt feeling. Interestingly enough, Norma McCorvey would eventually change her stance on abortion. Years later, she recanted her position in that and became a... Um, an anti-abortion person. As for the Wade and Roe v. Wade? He was a long-standing district attorney in Dallas. During his tenure, Henry Wade was extensively involved in the Kennedy assassination investigation. So he's a colorful figure in Dallas past. Just as you can't have Roe v. Wade without North Texas, these most recent Supreme Court hearings won't be without the Lone Star State. You know, we're seeing Texas at the heart of the abortion debate again with SB8. In Dallas, I'm Ariel Placencia.